Now, 27 storm track weather with meteorologist Alexis Clemens. We are still looking at the camera from UW Madison. We cannot see anything. Visibility is just that low. It's a foggy Christmas Eve. Thankfully, Santa has Rudolph tonight. 44 is that current temperature feeling like 40 very mild out there. Uh, that visibility, though, that's the big thing that we're watching through this morning and even into the overnight hours. But right now we are under a dense fog advisory until 9 o'clock this morning. I mean, look at that less than a half a mile of visibility in Montello, Stevens Point, Madison, Janesville, Row Mineral Point, Platteville, uh, and we really aren't going to see full recovery from that. We'll get better this afternoon, but still going to be very foggy this morning through about 10 o'clock or so. Then by lunchtime, we'll be just cloudy, maybe a little drizzle here and there. 46, 8 a.m., 53 will be your high temperature this afternoon. Then we'll have to watch for some rain chances beginning west later on tonight and the system that we're really watching here. It's this low pressure system. Look at that snow over Nebraska. We're not going to see any of that, but you'll notice this system is going to cool us down. We're watching some rain though ahead of Christmas Day, and I think it's going to start for some of us tonight, but not everybody. It's really going to be over towards the southwestern part of Wisconsin after about midnight or so, but it stays primarily to the west until we head towards about lunchtime or so tomorrow. So if you're heading out for Christmas morning, you should be Good to go, but if you're going to be out and about by about 9, 10, 11 o'clock, you're going to need that umbrella. And once it starts raining, it's likely not going to really stop. Light rain through the midday, afternoon, and evening hours for Christmas Day. Then we dry out. That, that's the best chance for rain right there is later on tomorrow. We're dry after that, but then when things cool down, if moisture can hang on, a few flurries will be possible as we cool down, and this will really be kind of closer towards uh, Wednesday or so. Rainfall totals, though, that's the big thing with this system here. We're looking at anywhere between about a half an inch to an inch of rainfall through tomorrow because that best chance for rain comes late tomorrow morning through the afternoon and evening hours. Then we dry out after that. We're going to take a look at the seven day forecast. There's a lot of precipitation chances on here. But you got to look at the numbers 90% for tomorrow. A slam dunk. We are definitely going to see rain. Then after that 30 20 20. It's going to be mostly dry behind that, but there's a chance for a few snowflakes there Wednesday and Thursday because we are cooling down. We'll be in the 30s though for Friday and Saturday and dry.